Hey guys, welcome back to Dan's Chess Lounge. Today we're going to be working on our end game technique. It's uh, it's it's one thing to be able to play flashy openings and tricky openings with lots of traps, but uh, when it gets down to the nitty gritty, you have to be able to finish the game. Or if you're on the downside, if you're down material or losing, it's important to be able to pull out a draw. Uh, when your opponent uh, thinks he's got a win in his hand. So let's go ahead and work on our topic today, uh, is, which is if you have a queen, if you're up a queen and your opponent is getting ready to promote, uh, what are the options? What are the possibilities? Here, if the pawn is on the sixth rank or the third rank, then... It's a, it's usually always going to be a win for whoever has the queen. And and the reason behind that is that the person with the queen can just get in front of the of the pawn and, and get on the queenie square, the promotion square, and then just bring up their king. So like in this situation right here, it would be queen a5 check, king moves out of the way, and then the queen just goes right there to e1. And just sits there, and now the king is just going to take his time, march over, and then you guys, the queen and king, will pick off that pawn there. So if the pawn is on the sixth rank or third rank, depending on which side of the board you're, you're playing on, then it's, it's going to be, be a win for the dominant side. Now let's move on to something that's a little bit more trickier, which is if the queen, if the, the pawn is on the seventh rank or second rank, depending on what side you are. So in this situation here, uh, it's going it's going to be a win for the dominant side. If the pawn is, is on a certain file. So if the pawn is on um, the if the pawn is on the B, D, E, or G file, then it's a win. So I like to think of in easier terms or in. Hey guys, welcome back to Dance Chess Lounge. Today we're going to be going over our, some end games study some end game fundamentals because it's important to be able to finish off the game yes we all like to work on openings and flashy traps and zaps but it's critical to be able to finish off the game or if you're on the the losing side the side that's losing or down material it's critical to be able to know how to save that point save that half point and get a draw sometimes uh, if you can just sneak a draw uh, out of the situation, then you actually feel even better sometimes than if you win. Uh, just speaking firsthand on that. So, like in this in this situation here, we're going to be working on um, queens trying to stop the pawn on the sixth and seventh ranks. So, if if the pawn is on the sixth rank, like in this position here, then it's it's usually always going to be a win for whoever has the queen. And the reason behind that is that the queen can just go ahead and get on that queening square, the promotion square that the pawn is going for. So like in this position here, I play queen a5 check, king moves out the way, and then the, the queen just goes ahead and parks right there on the promotion square that the pawn is going for. Now the king can just take his time and just march on over and then the queen and king will gobble up that pawn and then checkmate the king after that so just remember the if it's on the sixth rank if the pawn is on the sixth rank then it's going to be a win for whoever side has the queen now let's move on to a little more trickier position now if the pawn is on the seventh rank then there are some rules that have to has to apply. As long as the pawn is not on a bishop or rook file, 
there's a win. It's a win for the person with the queen. But if the pawn is on a, a bishop or rook file, then it's a draw. So let, let's go ahead and go through the win here. This is this is the pawn is on a e file right here. So let's go ahead and, and let me show you how this is a win. First, you want to get your your queen down into the action and stop the king from uh, helping the pawn promote. So you check. King goes to d1. Check. Now here's the critical move right here. Queen e3. What this does is this attacks the pawn here, of course, but it, it makes the king defend it. So the king has to step in front of the pawn here, king d1. And so then when the king steps in front of the pawn, now you can play check, king d3, and it forces the king over in front of the pawn here. Now, now the king, your king, can go ahead and make his move and move one step closer. So now you just have to repeat that. So that was five moves there. You just have to repeat that over and over until your king gets closer uh, to the pawn where you can pick off the pawn. So let me go ahead and go through a few more moves here. Make sure that the pawn doesn't promote. You pin it. Check. There's that critical move again. Queen e3 attacking the pawn. So the king has to step in front of it to protect it. Check. Now it's in front, front of the pawn, directly in front of the pawn, and now your king can move in one step closer. You repeat the same process. The critical move, queen e3. The king has to step back. Now you check. Now the king has to step directly in front of the pawn. Now your king moves in. So you just repeat that process until your king gets closer close enough to where it can pick off that pawn so now that the king is pretty close here so now you have check king goes back to e1 now the king is on the pawn there king e3 now you can pick off that pawn and then mate is coming up here checkmate so even though it looks like it's a lot of moves just 25 moves total it's still, you only have to remember the, the first five moves because then you just repeat that process over and over again. Let me show you what happens, though, if it's a, a bishop file. If the pawn is on a bishop file, then it's a draw. It's not a win. And let me show you why here. Uh, everything looks the same, and, and it's going to process the same process. It's going to be the same process, but let me show you. Queen, b5, check. King goes back. Check. Check. King steps over to defend the pawn. Check. Now you have the king. There's the critical move. The, the queen went to f3. And now the king steps closer to the pawn to protect it. Now you have queen e3, check. Okay, and now the king steps directly in front of the pawn here. Now the king moves forward. So everything looks fine, right? You're saying to yourself, hey, this is just like before, but it's getting ready to be a little wrinkle in the situation. King moves to g2. You pin. Check. And now you have king h2. Queen attacks the pawn. Uh, that critical move there. King steps back to defend it. But now, when you play queen check here, now the black king can just stall out in the corner, king h1. And the reason why that's so critical is because uh, you can see, you can see for yourself right here that if the queen takes right there, then it's stalemate. So it's a draw. So the, the, the king can just hide out in the corner there because the queen can never take that pawn. Uh, and therefore, white's king can never move in closer to, to 
pick off that pawn and checkmate the black king. And then attempts to just check the king back and forth is not going to work. That's not going to make any progress. So that's the draw there. If, if it's a bishop file, if the pawn is on the bishop file, then it's a draw. So it's easier for me to say bishop file and rook file because some people remember it by actually saying the letter. They, they, they remember it that way by saying if the pawn is on a C or F file, then it's a draw. But for me, it's easier just to say uh, the bishop file or the rook file. Use wh whichever one works for you. And then lastly here, let's go over if it's a rook file. Uh, this is also a draw. Let me show you why here. In this position here, let's go back. This is the starting position right here. Uh, if this position right here, the, the pawn is getting ready to promote. It's on the seventh rank, but it's a rook pawn. And the problem here is you play queen check. And now the king just hides out. This one here is, is very easy to see. You don't have to make a lot of moves. It's easy to see right here. It's stalemate. So you, you, you don't have an opportunity to bring your king in. Because if I played king c7 right now, then it's a stalemate. So then you, you right try to check the king. Check. The king goes to g2. Queen e4. Now king back to g1. And it, it, you just repeat the same thing. Check. And then the king hides out in the corner. Stalemate. If I move my king. So, the rook pawns are drawn as well. So, guys, remember, rook pawns and bishop pawns are drawn, drawn games if the pawn is on the seventh rank. Uh, any of the other files, then it's a win. For the person with the queen and then remember if it's if the pawn is on the sixth rank then it's a win for the person with the queen regardless of what file it's on so, okay guys go ahead and rewatch the video if you need to take it in again and remember it uh, this is essential to, to getting better at chess we have to study our in-game tactics Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the lesson. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.